Hi, I am Magdalena Baczewska, and for today's episode of Back at Home, I have the music of Frédéric Chopin. You may wonder what the connection is. Chopin was a great admirer of the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. In fact, we know that on every trip Chopin took, he had with him the two volumes of the well-tempered clavier. We also know that he assigned the preludes and fugues from the well-tempered clavier to his students. The famous C-sharp minor waltz that was dedicated to Chopin's piano student and later friend, Delfina Potocka. Aside from its endless sophistication, grace and beauty, you will notice something that is often emphasized in piano instruction, namely the ergonomic use of the hand in the refrain portion of the waltz. Chopin started writing a piano method. However, writing was not his favorite thing and he soon abandoned the project. But you will see from the refrain of this waltz how beautifully he uses the pianist's wrist. Chopin was the one to break the habit of old technique, which was essentially designed for a different instrument. The piano, as we know it today, was just being developed and Chopin actually had his hand in it. He was very friendly with Pleyel as well as Erard, who were both piano makers. Chopin proposes that the fingers should not all sound like they're equal and we should not try to make them sound the same. He recognizes that each finger is of different size, different length, and therefore serves a different function in the hand. The favorite scale of Chopin's was B major. The placement of the middle three fingers on the blank keys allowed for the most ergonomic and natural position at the keyboard. Chopin did say that the hardest scale to play is actually C major. You may be surprised to hear this, but it's true, there's nothing to hold on to. Therefore, B major is his preferred scale. But you will see the same principle in These waltzes by Chopin were stylized, which means that they were not meant for dancing. However, Russian composer Alexander Glazunov actually orchestrated this waltz in 1907 to include in a ballet called Les Sylphides. The ballet was premiered in the Mariinsky Theatre in St. Petersburg in 1907. So this is one way to actually see this waltz being danced.
listening. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and to join me for the upcoming videos on the Back at Home playlist. Take care.